السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین الصلاۃ والسلام علی اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین وعلی آلہ و اصحابہ اجمعین اللهم اجعلنا منهم من الذین آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر آمین یا رب العالمین ثم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدری ويسر لي امری واحلل عقدۃ من لسانی یفقهوا قولی رب زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدین اللهم منفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما اللهم ثبتنا عند الموت بلا اله الا الله آمین یا رب العالمین الحمد للہ today we are going to finish our fragments so we are on our last fragment which is ismul ishara fragment and uh, this is inshallah very easy lesson alhamdulillah okay so asmaul ishara you we can call them pointing words pointing words are ism and they used to point to the other ism in english the pointer words are this that these those so the pointer fragment in english would be this girl those girls that is ishara mean point and the word it is pointing at is called musharun ilai so the thing it is pointing to would call uh, musharun ilai for example in the phrase this girl so the word this is ismul ishara and the word girl is musharun ilai so since uh, asmaul ishara are isms they must have four properties okay so status number gender type so whenever we have um, um like uh, um, the pointer fragment or ismul ishara fragment we are supposed to find out the four properties between these two isms they should be matching so the number and gender are determined by meaning and pointer words are always proper so we need to keep that in our mind that pointer words are always proper and most pointer words are non flexible why most i'm going to explain in a bit and the status can only be told based on the words place in the sentence so since they are non flexible they are not going to show us what status they are in but the context of the sentence would help us and this is how we are we are going to figure it out that either this is rafa nasab or jar ismul ishara and musharun ilai always remain side by side so there is no long distance between them so that's a good thing we don't have to find them they are always side by side now what are ismul ishara these are the ones haza this is the singular masculine hazani is the dual if i want to point towards two things then i need to use the word hazani then for the plural i have haulai so haza hazani haulai haza hazani haulai we use this word we see this word in quran e pak haulai many times so haza hazani haulai haza singular hazani is dual and haulai is plural and this is for masculine and the translation haza is this both of these and these now for feminine we have a different uh, pointer so we gonna say hazi he if we are pointing to some singular feminine then we need to use the word hazi he then for the pair we have hatani okay and then haulai so now haulai is same for masculine and feminine 
but we have uh, uh, like uh, uh, our dual are different and our singular are different. So hazihi, hatani, haulai. So uh, let's say one uh, one time all these uh, six of them. Haza, hazani, haulai, hazihi, hatani, haulai. One more time. Haza, hazani, haulai, hazihi. Hatani haulai. So these are our close one. We are translating this. Okay. So when we are pointing something close, then we are going to use the word uh, haza. This. Now for the far, we have a different word, which is zalika. So zalika is again masculine. Zanika is the dual, and ulaika is the plural. So, Dhalika, Dhanika, Ulaika. Dhalika, Dhanika, Ulaika. Okay, and the translation is that. So, because this is for far pointer. Then we have Tilka, which is feminine version. So, Tilka, Tanika, Ulaika. Again, ulaika is the same. The plural is same for singular and uh, for, for, uh, for masculine and feminine, but um, you know, the other are different. So let's say them together now. Dhalika, dhanika, ulaika, tilka, tanika, ulaika. Okay, I think I'm using a different... Uh, PDF because I added something. Uh, give me one sec, please. Okay, sorry about that. So this is the one. So now uh, we have, uh, since it says that uh, uh, this haza, hazihi, haulai, and then ulaika, dhalika, tilka, these, the singular one and the plural one, they are fixed. They are mabni, they are non-flexible. So they are rafa, nasab, and jar, gonna be same. But the dual has uh, some flexibility. So for dual, hazani has hazaini. So nasa banjar version is hazaini. And then we have hataini. Okay, for uh, our feminine. Then for dalika, we have uh, uh, um, zanika is the uh, is our masculine. And it's uh, nasab and jar version is zainika. And for our tanika, the nasab and jar version is tainika. Okay, so they, these dual ones, they show some flexibility. So they are having different version for nasab and uh, like uh, their rafa's version. Uh, rafa is different, but nasab and jar is uh, same. So they are showing a little bit flexibility. But the singular one and the plural one, they are fixed, they are non-flexible, okay? So now one more time. So let's say all of them together. Haza, hazani, haulai. Hazihi, hatani, haulai. Dhalika, zanika, ulaika. Tilka, tanika, ulaika. So these are our a small ishara. They are always proper. They are non-flexible except the dual ones. 
and they can make fragment or sentence. Okay, so we should be uh, happy that today we are going to make sentences because uh, we are going to see when these uh, small ishara are making fragment and when they make sentence. So congratulations, you are going to learn to make a sentence today, inshallah. Okay, so now, uh, if uh, you like in that way, uh, you can see again, we can repeat. Pointer ism are used to point at other ism, this, that, those. Okay, so these are our pointers. No long distance in between them. Pointers are non-flexible except the pairs. They are always proper. Okay, and fragment versus sentences. If we have after pointer, we have al right after it, then we are creating a fragment. If we have pointer word, but there is no al after it, then we create sentence. That is all about our ismal ishara. So inshallah, we, um, as we go inshallah, in these things gonna be more clear. Uh, now pointer words again, all proper, always pro proper, non-flexible, they look the same in all status. They can be used to make sentences or fragments. Fragments means there is no is in it. If the word after the pointer has an al, then it is a fragment. For example, hazal kitabu. So after haza, haza is my pointer, and I see al right after haza. So now this is a fragment. I should be translating this book. Okay, so only called ismul ishara when being used as a fragment. So now when uh, I have a fragment over here, then I'm gonna call this one ismul ishara and this one as my musharun ilay, the thing that is pointing at. Okay, so this haza is my ismul ishara and this al kitabu is my musharun ilay, but only when we are creating a, uh, a fragment. If, this is, if uh, I'm making a sentence out of this, then it's a different story, okay? So Ismul Ishara and Musharun Ilai are only going to be found when there is fragment. So if the word after the pointer does not have an al, then it is a sentence. For example, we say Haza Kitabun. Now there is no al over here. So the translation is this is a big. So a book. So now remember then when there is no al after haza, then you're gonna translate, then there is some invisible is in this haza and you're gonna say this is. So this is a book. So we made a simple sentence over here. Okay, now look over here. Again, hazal kitabu, this book. Haza kitabun, this is a book. Haza Rasulullahi, now Haza, do you see after uh, Haza al? There is no al, that means this is my sentence and this Haza, I'm gonna translate as this is. This is the messenger of Allah. So this Haza and then uh, uh, Rasulullah, I see Rasulullah, uh, this is light, and the word Allah is jar, so this is my uh, idafa fragment, and I'm saying this is my, uh, this is Rasul of Allah, so this is my sentence. So simple and easy, when there is no al after Ismul Ishara, then we have an invisible is, that means we are making a sentence. So after haza, if there is al, then we are creating a, um, a fragment. If there is no al, then we are making a sentence. That's all. Okay, so inshallah, let's see more. Now, let's see how to make fragment and sentences with the pointer words in Arabic. Now, making fragment. So how we make fragment again? So after ismul ishara, right after it, you need to bring al, and that's it. 
and then we need to check all four properties they should be matching okay because when we have ismulishara and musharuni lay this is a fragment and for this fragment for both both are ism so haza is ism and al kitabu is ism so then we need to check their properties and they should match in all four properties like mosub sifa so now has uh, again hazal kitabu haza this al kitabu i see all over here this is my uh, fragment this book so i'm going to call haza my pointer and al kitabu my musharun ilai i just put m over here so that stand for musharun ilai and now we can check the four properties of it so haza uh, what is the status of haza it's not showing so we're going to come back to it now status number what is the number of haza this is singular what is the num uh, status of haza this is masculine what is the prop uh, type of uh, haza haza is always proper okay all these a small ishara are always proper so this is proper now look al kitabu so al kitabu uh, this is telling us uh, um, the status so this is a my rafa okay and then uh, status number number is singular gender is uh, masculine and type is proper because it has al so all four properties are matching one was not we were not sure that was uh, our status but we gonna assume if all three are matching then status uh, we gonna assume that okay this is the same so all four pro uh, properties are matching over here so this is our Uh, fragment and now on top over here it says haza kitabun so i don't see all over here so my invisible is came in between so haza has is now so this is a book this is how we are going to translate that so now look some more examples over here from qurane pa so it says za likal kitabu So now Zalika again. It's not showing a status. We're gonna come back to it. Its number is singular. Its gender is masculine. What is the uh, feminine version of it? Zalika and then Tilka. And then type. I said that all smallish are all always proper, so they are proper. So now Al Kitabu again. U sound. This is my Rafa. it this is my singular this is my masculine and this is the type is proper so they are matching and after zalika i have al so that is a fragment so i'm going to translate that book that book how i can create a sentence i can just drop this al zalika kitabu now that is a book okay simple and easy now look at the next example ulaika rusulu so ulaika uh, this is our uh, again we gonna leave that status for a while number is plural gender is masculine or feminine uh, both are used right ulaika is for both but it mention over here masculine it's fine so type is proper and then rusulu showing us the status so this is rafa number is plural so now you're going to say rahat wait a minute you teach us that uh, rusulu is broken plural consider as uh, 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 singular feminine yes that's true but uh, their actual number is plural right so grammatical we are not uh, talking about uh, grammatical right now so number is plural gender is masculine okay they are human beings and type is proper so the translation would be those prophets okay so now since i said this is broken plural and broken plural are considered as singular feminine so you will see even in qurane pak tilka rusulu used in third para okay since they are uh, human broken plural so we have choice we can either use the regular version like uh, the masculine version with them or we can use uh, treat them as a singular feminine 
So that's why. Okay. So then uh, now next one, haulai. Again, haulai is uh, no, we are not sure about the status. Number is plural. Gender is masculine or feminine, used for both. Type is proper. And now alkomu. So alkomu is uh, rafa. It is plural. It is masculine. It is proper. So all four properties are matching. Okay, so translation, this nation. And if I say just haulai and I drop al, haulai komu, now this is a nation. Okay, so uh, alhamdulillah, that is very easy concept. I don't think so any problem over here. Now, next one, hazal Quranu, haza again, rafa, I'm gonna leave that, or we can look uh, to the musharuni lay. Okay, musharuni lay is rough, so yes, we can say this is rough. Then, number is singular, gender is masculine, type is proper. Now, al Quranu, rafa, singular, masculine, proper. So, this is a uh, good match for uh, Ismulishara and musharuni lay. So, this Quran, this Quran, and if I drop al haza Quranu, this is Quran. Okay, now Ismul Ishara in other fragments, uh, what can happen? Something can come uh, before them, right? Because they are Ism and uh, some Harfu Jar, Harfu Nasab can come. And so uh, let's see what happened then. So after a Harfu Jar, uh, this is going to be, if, let's see after uh, uh, Harfu Jar come, before our uh, uh, ismul ishara so we have bi hada this is uh, in quran pak bi hada mathala so ba came ba is our harfujar now haza is our is majroor even though it's not showing us but we know that whenever we have uh, jar majroor uh, sorry when we have harfujar we need uh, the next ism jar in status so this haza is our ism majroor so bihada and then mathalan. So I'm just showing you guys that how, uh, even though these, uh, and these are haza uh, and all these asmaul ishara, they are non-flexible, but how we can figure them out that what is their status. So now uh, the translation is by this as an example. So now, because after haza, we don't have al, so this is a sentence. So this is, uh, now you know that in Surah Bakra, when um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the example of uh, mosquito, so the kuffar were kind of mocking at it that uh, what kind of Quran is it that uh, it is uh, um, like uh, exampling the very insignificant uh, insect. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kind of uh, uh, like, uh, this is their statement. They are saying that what is uh, Allah meant by this and example. Then we have uh, Harfu Nasab. So let's see if Harfu Nasab come before uh, uh, Haza, what gonna happen? So Inna Haza Qasasal Haq. So Inna indeed Haza. So what, what do we need after Inna? We need after uh, uh, its ism, which should be nasab in status. So this haza is our ismu inna. So inna and uh, uh, the after haza we don't have al. So that means this is a sentence. So how we are going to translate? Indeed, this is qasasa min narration al haq the true. This is the true narration. So indeed, this is a true narration. Then, if uh, you know, how haza can be uh, like uh, uh, this is ida uh, mudafilehi. So again, jar. So rabbu hazal baiti. When we say rabbu hazal baiti, rabbu is our um, uh, like uh, mudaf, rab of this house. Now, uh, so this is our idafa fragment, and after haza we have al. 
so i'm translating uh, translating this house rub of this house rabbu hazal baiti so this is how um, uh, like we can figure it out when some something is before them harfu jar or harfu nasab or anything they are uh, this haza is uh, playing the role of mudafilehi we should know that okay even though they are not showing us status but inshallah alhamdulillah we are able to figure it out what state uh, status they are in okay so now let's see some more examples over here uh hazal quranu so haza and then i see all over here what do you think is that a pointer or a sentence oh sorry is that a fragment or a sentence haza al came so that is our fragment so and the translation would be this quran this quran then we have fi hazi hil hayati dunya so fi came so what do we need after that uh, we need our isam majroor so hazihi is our isam majroor over here and then uh, hazihi and then al hayati and al dunya so uh, hazi after hazihi i see al over here so that means this is a fragment so how i'm going to translate in this worldly life and then al hayati and ad dunya do you see any relation in between them yes al hayati ad dunya worldly life okay so this is our mosuf sifa fragment so again this is our fragment why because after hazihi we have al over here then we have fal ya'budu rabba hazal baiti fal yabudu so you all so they should all so they ya yeah, is uh, over here the, they so fal yabudu so they all should do what worship so they all should worship rabba rab now rabba is light okay when something is light we always need to think why there is nothing coming before it to make it light right so um, then sometimes we can look ahead maybe there is some relation with the uh, next word so rabba haza hazal baiti rab of so rabba is light so that um, is making it mudaf and haza haza is my mudaf ilahi rab of this now should i say this is or this house this house because there is al so this is my fragment so they should all worship rub of this house so again rabba is my mudaf hazihi is my mudaf ilahi then hazihi is my ismul ishara and al baiti is my musharun ilahi okay now we have uh, over here tilka so this is again my ismul ishara the feminine one tilka hududullahi now i don't see after tilka all over here so that means this is a sentence okay and hudud is plural this is broken plural so that's why I'm, the translation uh, translation would be those are the boundaries of allah okay so tilka we're going to translate as those those are the boundaries of allah but why we did not use ulaika why because til hudud is broken plural okay so this is consider uh, singular feminine so that's why tilka is used over here tilka hududullahi the those are the boundaries of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay then we have ulaika ashabun nari ulaika again this is our uh, uh, plural uh, pointer uh, and the far one now and after ulaika i don't see all over here so that means this is my sentence so i'm going to say those are so my is are come right after 
the pointer word if there is no al after it. Okay, so no al, so I'm gonna put my is rm over here. So ulaika, those are ashabun nari, the companion of hellfire. Again, ashabu, okay, ashabu is uh, a light and anari is jar, so that is my idafa fragment. So those are the companion of hellfire. Now again, ashab is a broken plural. Okay, so that could be used, tilka could be used over here. But since this is human broken, right? So we have a choice. Either we can say ulaika or we can say tilka. Now hazihi naqatullahi. Now hazihi, our ismul ishara. I, I don't see a, a, any al after that. So that means this is my sentence. So I'm going to say this is, this is naqatullahi, the she camel of Allah. Okay, so naqata is uh, uh, feminine. So that's why hazihi is used with it. Okay, so that was some example from Quran Ipah. Now let's see what do we have more. Okay, more practice. Now, Bihadal hadisi. Now determine if the following sentences uh, they are sentences or a fragment. So we need to find out. Bihadal hadithi. So ba came, ba is our harfujar, haza is our ismajrur. Okay, and now after haza, but do I see? I see al over here, so that means this is my fragment. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna translate in this hadith or by this hadith, or with this hadith, or by this narration, okay? Then we have hazihi uh, sabili, uh, okay? So hazihi sabil, we know that this is the word from um, Arab Sarso, so this is considered feminine, so that's why hazihi is used with it. And now hazihi, I don't see al after that, so this is my sentence. So hazihi sabili, sabili mean my sabil, my path, my way. So this is my idafa fragment. So hazihi sabili, how I'm gonna translate, this is my path. This is my path. Okay, this is a sentence. Now haulai shufa'auna. So haulai mean those. And after haulai, I don't have al, so that means this is a sentence. So haulai, those are shufa'auna, shufa'auna, these are two words, okay? Shufa'au mean intercessors, like uh, the one who can intercede. Um, uh, what does that mean? For example, if uh, someone is in trouble and some other, um, maybe some authority says, oh, it's okay, let it go. Okay, so that person, that authority is the intercessor for that person. So now, shufa'auna, our shufa'u, our intercess, intercessors. So those are our intercessors. So this is our sentence. Then we have fazanika burha nani. So uh, zanika, so si since burha nani, so what do you think about burhanani? So this is our, uh, burhan is the word, and then ani is attached, so that means our um, muslimani. So this is our rafa and uh, dual, and that's why you see zanika over here. Okay, and there is no al, so that means this is a sentence. For zanika burhanani, so uh, uh, those are, uh, burhan, burhanan mean uh, the lie like uh, um, proofs you can say okay so these are two proofs so these are two proofs burhanani two proofs then we have hazihil anharu again our hazihi uh, why hazihi is used because anharu is our broken plural 
so that's why hazihi came and after hazihi is there is al so that means this is our fragment and how i'm gonna translate uh, uh, these um, uh, rivers bahazihi lanharu these rivers then we have bihazal baladi so after haza i see all over here so this is my fragment and balad mean uh, city so in this in this city bihazal baladi in this city then we have tilka ayatul kitabil hakim so tilka came but there is no al after that so that means this is my sentence so i'm going to translate tilka ayat so again ayat is plural okay so i'm going to translate those are the ayat those are the sign miraculous signs of the book which is hakim like the wise book al kitab al hakimi is mosuf sifa fragment so i should be translating wise book so these are the miraculous signs of wise book now again ayatu it is light so why it is light i i need to look at the next word this is al kitabi so that makes my look like my idafa fragment over here okay so those are uh, miraculous signs of that's why i'm saying of of the wise book so we have uh, our um, uh, uh, idafa fragment and then mosuf sifa fragment over here then we have zalika mataul hayati dunya mata mean like uh, uh, temporary benefit so the uh, mataul hayati dunya this is temporary benefit of worldly life so mata u again my mudaf hayati is my mudaf ilayhi then al hayati and ad dunya is mosuf sifa worldly life so this is my sentence because after zalika there is no al so uh, uh, that is that is temporary benefit of worldly life hazani khasmani now hazani is our dual okay and uh, hasmani is dual too and no al so that is my sentence hasma hasmani uh, uh, like the two people who are uh, argue a lot okay so these these are these two are the argumentative people we can say haza rabbi so again haza our ismul ishara and there is no al after it so that means this is my sentence so i'm going to say this is rabbi my rab haza rabbi this is my rab beautiful sentence now mithla hazal hurabi mithla again mithla is light when something is light we always think why so uh, now haza is not even showing us but when we translate it, uh, like of this ghurab ghurab is like crow so this is uh, when um, uh, habil uh, habil and kabil story so when the one who killed but he uh, couldn't find out how to bury the uh, uh, like a dead body of his brother so then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a urab a crow and he start digging the uh, land uh, with the with his beak and this is to show him that okay you can dig the land and you can bury the person like that so this is the example from there so so he was very kind of uh, embarrassed that oh he is worse than this urab that he couldn't figure it out that he can do that so like the example of ghurab so now mithla um, is our mudaf hazihi our mudaf ilayhi and now hazihi is our ismul ishara and i see all over here okay so this is my fragment so i'm going to say 
like like this urab like this uh, crow okay so he he was thinking that okay he he could not even think like this crow so he is that uh, uh, kind of uh, stupid so that he was thinking vatilkal ayamu so again vatilka uh, so this is our small ishara and i see all over here so this is my fragment and vatilka is used because ayam is our broken plural okay so that's why this tilka um, is used and uh, how i'm going to translate tilka that ayam mean days so those days i'm not i'm going to i supposed to uh, translate plural because ayam okay so those days then we have haula il qaumi so haula i uh, our pointer and i see al so this is our fragment so this nation haula il qaumi this nation tilka darul akhirati again tilka and i see al so this is our fragment so that is darmin house of akhira so again no that is no sorry uh, that um uh, that uh, darul akhira mean uh, house of akhira so that uh, um, how should i say <laughs> that uh, uh, house of akhira so that uh, house of akhira no why i'm bringing up no of okay because this is our uh, mosub sifa fragment okay so that um uh, i don't know how to translate that darul akhira i'm going to say just so that um that darul akhira so uh, the the uh, house of akhira i, I cannot uh, think anything but house of akhira okay so but uh, ad darul akhira ad dar uh, has al and al akhira has al so they are and they have u sound and dar we know this is feminine akhira is feminine so they are perfect mosub sifa fragment and this is uh, our uh, even is only shara fragment okay so that is your job and do the best translation how and show me my mind is not working right now okay so now ulaika ashabul jannati uh, ulaika again our ismul ishara no all after it so this is our sentence and the translation would be those are the people of janna okay so those are my r is coming right after here because there is no all inna hazal qurana inna indeed no um, inna indeed hazal qurana this quran so after haza i have al so this quran this is my fragment inna haza akhi now inna indeed haza this and there is no al so i'm going to put my is over here indeed this is akhi my brother okay my idafa fragment and what should be the status of this haza nasab because inna came what is the status of this haza nasab because inna came now inna haulai la dalun so again inna our harf nasab haulai is, is our uh, uh, isam of inna so this is nasab in status and now haulai do we ha uh, have all over here no this is this is lam lam for emphasis so whenever we have inna sometimes you will find this lam uh, attaching to some word after inna so that is lam of uh, we, uh, say lam of emphasis okay so inna how laila dalun how are we going to translate is that uh, sentence or a fragment after how lai there is no al so that means this is our sentence and the translation would be indeed these are surely lost why i'm saying surely this la 
okay so this law is uh, giving another emphasis over here okay so this is our sentence so i hope uh, these things are clear to you guys now look some more example over here so we have uh, um, this is really cool if you guys follow that that is going to teach us how to uh, do like a label now, alhamdulillah we we have enough knowledge now to label uh, fragments here and there and to, since today is our last fragment so tomorrow inshallah we are going to start our sentences so very exciting so now we should know how to label okay and label our sentences label our uh, fragments now fee, when you see fee but you're gonna ask yourself what kind of word is fee okay so if you remember ba ta ka flam wow min fi you find it yes we fi is our harfujar so now if it, this is harfujar what is the job of the harfujar what what effect does it make so the effect that make is that the next ism should be jar in status so this question you are going to ask yourself so now when you figure it out so we know fi is our harfujar butuni is our isam majroor okay now butuni is light okay fi does not have any condition that it should be uh, light it should it can be butunin why it is light so when something is light and uh, nothing is before it to make it light so maybe i can make a connection to the next word and see why maybe i find some clue over there so uh, i said this is our jar majroor and then fi butuni hazi hi so hazi hi uh, i'm thinking that okay my but why this is light so if it is my idafa fragment so then hazi hi is my some uh, ma sorry my mudafile hi okay uh, it is not showing hazi hi gonna remain hazi hi in all sta uh, status but i know this is my mudafile hi okay and the translation in the belly of okay so i i'm bringing my of here why because this is my idafa fragment in the belly of um, these now hazi hil an army now i need to make connection with the next word is hazi he has any connection with the al an army look like yes because hazi he is our pointer and then i have al over here so that means al an army is a musharun ilay so hazi he is my samishara and al an army is my musharun ilay so if this is the case we can check if all these four properties are matching so hazi he we already said this is jar because this is my mudafile he then hazi he is singular hazi he is feminine and hazi he is proper and now check al anami al anami is jar al anami is singular feminine why because this is broken plural okay this is noon ain and meem naam and uh, from that is an uh, an arm okay so this is my singular feminine and then al anami has al so that means this is proper so this is perfect our uh, ismul ishara fragment and how we gonna translate in the belly of these cattle okay so this is how you are going to label fi butuni you can say fi harfujar butuni is a samajroor if you like to write in english you can see fi harfujar and butuni is a samajroor and then butuni is mudaf and hazihi is mudafilehi and then hazihi is our ismul ishara al anami is our musharun ilai and ismul ishara and its musharun ilai should match in four properties and we saw that they are matching so this is your thought process should be whenever you see uh some fragments or some sentence okay 
So um, um, and that can be very helpful. So I really want you now, even though you just recite one ayah, two ayah every day in Quran -e Pak, you need to look at them like that. Now, next one. Anna how lai komu mujrimun. Now Anna came. What is Anna? Anna is our harfu nasab. And what does Anna do? Anna make next ism, uh, whatever not next ism, whatever is ism is in nasab in status. Okay, so I don't see komun nasab. I don't see mujrimuna in nasab. So I'm gonna take this as nasab. Okay, so this is my how lai is my. Uh, ismu anna and then qawmun mujrimun after haulai i don't have al so that means this is my sentence now okay now qawmun mujrimun i need to think okay are they have any relation in between so qawmun um qawmun is our rafa okay and qawmun is our uh, plural masculine plural they are considered and then common is common now let's check the mujrimun so mujrimun is our rafa una uh, combination so mujrimuna is our uh, plural mujrimuna is masculine mujrimuna is common so that means that they could be our musuf sifa fragment so how are we gonna translate common mujrimun like cream uh, criminal nation okay so anna that how lie how lie um, those are uh, criminal nation or corrupt nation you can say okay now okay we have something more over here okay so this is uh, so far it was uh, easy busy and uh, inshallah this is very easy too but uh, it need your uh, attention okay so what happened when we have uh, uh, sometimes we have to point to the idafa fragment okay so that gonna happen that happened in quran -e park so uh, i have to point out to idafa fragment so then there some problem occurs okay why because our idafa fragment our mudaf cannot have all right so look at the example over here so color me my pen this is my idafa fragment i wanna um, add uh, uh, let's see okay i'm making a sentence first so i put haza over here and i say haza kalami this is my pen but now i want to say this pen of mine is very dear to me it's right smoothly i want to say something about my pen so i want to point to my pen okay so i know when i put al right after ismulishara i can make a fragment right so i can say haza al qalami can i do that no 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 it's a big 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 problem i am entering the territory of mudaf mudaf does not allow me mudaf got angry at me and he said no you cannot add al to me okay because my mudaf cannot have al ever so what should i do if i remove al then i have a sentence if i keep al the uh, the mudaf is not letting me do it so how should we solve the problem how we can point to uh, idafa fragment so the problem some genius arab find out um, that okay we can point rather i should say allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, because all the rules that are derived uh, in arabic they are derived from quran -e -Pak, from the speech of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so arabic is uh, like uh, all the rules regulation um, these are derived from the 
Quran a park itself. So uh, this is how the problem is solved that uh, we can put this haza after the idafa fragment. So if I say kalami haza, so that means this pen of mine. Okay, you will see that uh, in Quran -e Park many places that is happening. Now look at an another example over here. Sabili min my path or path of mine. Okay, now we want to make a fragment. So I put all over here. So has hazi al sabili, but there is a problem, right? My sabili is my idafa and my sabil, uh, my mudaf cannot have al. So I removed al and now I have a sentence, but I wanna make a fragment. So what should I do? Same thing I'm gonna do it, sabili hazihi, this path of mine. So just remember, whenever you have to point to an idafa fragment, then your um, uh, like ismul ishara will always come after the idafa fragment, not before. Because before is a problem, so we always put at the, uh, after the idafa fragment. Now these are the example from Quran Epar. It says, uh, Ibadi Haulai. Ibadi Haulai. So again, Ibadi is what? Our Idafa fragment and Haulai came after it. So these slaves of mine. Then we have Min Safarina Hada. So Min from Safarina, our travel has a this. So this travel of us, or this travel, so this is uh, Surat Kahaf, when Hazrat uh, Musa Islam was traveling and he was kind of tired. So I think and he said this uh, uh, traveling of us. So now, and this is, uh, Haza is pointing to this Safarina. Okay, now, we have over here ihda ihdabna tayya hataini this is uh, like a hard one but i will try to explain because so much going on over here so ihda is uh, um, ihda mean one okay so this is our uh, and this is light so i'm telling you this is our uh, idafa fragment now ihda and uh, then you can see over here uh, Ibn Atayya, what is this word, Ibn Atayya? And basically this is uh, Aya when uh, the two daughters of, uh, uh, when Hazrat Musa al uh, 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 get to Madian and there were uh, two ladies and he helped and then the father uh, uh, sent uh, these two daughters uh, to Musa al -Islam to uh, bring him home. So uh, this is when, uh, this is uh, the uh, father talking about uh, his uh, two daughters over here. So he basically he's saying that one of these two daughters of mine, you can marry one of them. So now Ihda, one of Ibn Atayya, what is this Ibn Atayya? Basically this is Ibnun, so Ibnun is our masculine. And then from Ibnun became Ibnatun, this is our daughter. So this is son, this is daughter. So now Ibnatun, Ibnatan, and Ibnatin, and then Ibnatani, Ibnataini, Ibnataini. Okay, so this is our dual. Now Ibnataini, and then he's saying my two daughters, right? Do two daughters of mine, my two daughters. So we are adding Ya over here. So Ibna Tayya. So uh, since we are having, uh, making this Ibna uh, Taini, as a mudaf, we need to make it light. So we drop this noon. Mudaf has to be light, right? So we drop this noon and then we add this ya as a mudaf ilahi. So this is how it became Ibn Atayya. So one more time Ibn Atun, Ibn Atan, Ibn Atin, then Ibn Atani, Ibn Ataini. So now Ibn Ataini, since this is coming as a mudaf and mudaf has to be light, then I need to drop this noon. So I drop this noon, now I have Ibn Atai. 
and then ya because it's saying daughters of mine so i added ya over here so this is we got ibna tayya so ihda one of ibna tayya my two daughters hataini these okay so uh, again this hataini is pointing to this idafa fragment over here these uh, two um, one of the uh, one of these two daughters of mine uh, you can marry or whatever he was talking about okay so ida is our mudaf ibnatayya is our mudaf ilayhi then ibnatay is playing double role so this is again our mudaf and then ya is our mudaf ilayhi over here so this is chain of idafa is going on and this hataini is pointing to this fragment over here if you get it, Alhamdulillah, but if you didn't get it, this is the advance, no worries, okay? Inshallah, these things will keep repeating uh, when we are uh, kind of uh, um, analyzing our ayat from Quran. So these things will, Inshallah, keep repeating and you will uh, get it one day, Inshallah. So no worries, don't get overwhelmed. Uh, if you get it, Alhamdulillah, but uh, don't get uh, confused or don't uh, like blame yourself that you are not getting it. It is kind of advanced. Then we have another example, liqa'a yawmikum haza, that we done in our uh, Surat Sajda, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was saying that, okay, since you forgot the meeting of that day in the worldly life, so I'm going to forget you today on the day of judgment. So this is the ayah. So now lika'a, meeting of, I'm saying, because lika'a is light, okay, and yomi is jar. So that may make uh, it our idafa fragment, okay. So lika'a, yomi kum. And again, yomi is our, so lika'a is our mudaf, yomi is our mudaf ilayhi, then yomi again is our mudaf, and kum is our mudaf ilayhi. And then Haza, this is pointing to Yomikum. This meeting of that day. Uh, uh, sorry, this uh, um, uh, we need to bring because uh, they are connected, right? So this meeting of your day. This, uh, sorry, the meeting of this day of your, this is so confusing. But uh, we got the point, right? The meeting of that uh, that day, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying. So the meeting of this day of yours. The meeting, Haza uh, is pointing to the whole thing. Why? Because Lika is related to Yomi. Yomi is related to Kum. So together, so Haza is pointing to the whole thing. So this meeting of this day of yours. Okay, so this is how we are going to translate in chat. So I hope everything is making sense to you guys. Okay, one more point to go. So what is that point? Kind of same thing that we just uh, uh, did our um, uh, uh, idafa fragment. So kind of same thing. Sometimes we want to point to something specific. Okay, so um, I want to say ar rajulu. I want to point to some person. So what happened then? Now, uh, uh, okay, use a matching pronoun to create uh, a sentence with al, for example, okay. This is the man. This is the sentence I want to say. This is the man. I want to say this sentence. Now, the man, we know that when I uh, when wanna say something da, I need to add al to it. Okay, so I need to say ar rajulu, the man. Now, I, since I wanna say this is the man, I put haza over here, but haza and now ar rajulu. So after haza, when I see al, then this is not sentence anymore, this is a fragment. So the translation would be this man. But I want to say this is the man. 
okay i do not want to say this man rather i want to say this is the man so i am i want to point to some specific person what should i do now that kind of same problem but this is going to be solved in a different way so what we need to do over here we are going to bring a pronoun that is uh, kind of uh, 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 matching to the, uh, whatever is mulishara we have okay so haza this this is singular so i'm going to bring my hua over here since hua is singular so haza hua rajulu so when i say haza hua rajulu this hua is my referee pronoun now problem is solved okay so now i can translate this yes he is the man so now the, there is emphasis over here because this who is talking about this arajulu and then this arajulu is specific so there is kind of uh, some emphasis is being created over here so this yes he is the man so now in quran pak you will see these examples inna haza lahuwal fawzul azim so inna indeed haza this is because there is no al after haza um, because uh, we want to say this is the fawzul azim this is the supreme success so i uh, the hua came over here indeed this is truly the great victory truly this is the supreme success this is for the believer in jannah so they um, if we get to jannah alhamdulillah then this is a true victory this is a true success this is a supreme success this worldly life the success in, in this uh, worldly life does not matter rather the success in the hereafter matter more okay so we need to worry about our after life this life is gonna uh, like go anyway yes we need to uh, pursue for that too uh, there is nothing wrong about it but we should not uh, forget the main goal the main goal is hereafter the main goal is not earning this world the main goal is uh, we need to strive for the hereafter so this is uh, the words of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that yes this is the supreme success now wa ulaika humul muflihun so again ulaika since there is ulaika so that's why the hum came we need to bring our plural uh, uh, pronoun over there wa ulaika humul muflihun and it is those who are the winners so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about some people okay they are the real successful one they are the winners so this is uh, uh, surah number 31 ayah number 5 i really want you guys to look into it and uh, find out who allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about who are muflihun even this this is used in uh, surah bakra too so when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given all the um uh, like uh, attributes of uh, uh, like the true believers and then at the end he says yes they are the truly uh, winners they are the successful one so beginning aya of surah bakra so they are talking about muflihun but uh, I, i didn't check which uh, what this aya is talking about okay so then uh this is our homework now what is the homework that uh, uh first of all i said that uh, you can find 10 ism ismul ishara or a sentence from any part of the quran and translate them okay so you are going to open up any surah any aya any uh, like uh, maybe your favorite surah or just open up uh, wherever and then you are going to try to find 10 ismul ishara uh, maybe you can find five fragments and five sentences 
or if you have a problem finding any like if you find more sentences or less uh, small ishara fragment it's totally fine so just uh, find 10 of them and try to translate them too okay and uh, you need to think um, before you uh, like see like uh, if it is a small ishara fragment or if it was a sentence so then you can do that one too now it says uh, over here choose the appropriate pointer to create a small ishara and ushara nilai tell whether sh um, should come before and after so al komu so it's saying that okay you need to bring uh, ismul ishara you need to create um, ismul ishara fragment and uh, then you need to say okay if uh, your ismul ishara should come before or after so if you have al so obviously it is going before okay for example i put one already for you guys how la il komi these nation okay this is the close one and if you want to say far then ulaikal komi those nation and our ismul ishara is coming before al why to create um, a fragment otherwise it's gonna be a sentence then in the second example you can say komi so this is our um, idafa fragment so now you need to think where it should go okay even though i put it over there and you are going to i put uh, these uh, uh, kind of uh, ismul ishara over here so you can take help and you you can use the appropriate one which one gonna go with what if it is singular use singular if it is dual use dual if it is feminine use feminine if it is plural use plural so use the appropriate one to go with it now uh, just to, now one more minute i'm gonna take now i put over here how to uh, like uh, look into the dictionary and how to there is one uh, website error tool so let's see um, i can show you how it works so open link and now i have uh, uh, you you guys can see the word so you're gonna click the word over here it's gonna give you a keyboard so let's see if you wanna find a word kifata right okay kaf fa kifa and then ta uh, did I spell it wrong? Okay, let's find a different one. Okay, if let's see if I let's uh, kafara kaf fa ra. So even it's gonna give me kafara and different is form of it. So you can pick one, accept. Kafara, rubber tire, Kafara, he is blaspheme, ruined Islam. Kafara, he atone or. Okay, this is uh, basically this, um, that is for, that is modern English. Okay, so um, uh, it's not uh, like, uh, uh, you can say it's not a very good idea to use for Quranic, but uh, it kind of give you uh, like just uh, sometimes when I'm stuck, I use it and it helps. Uh, so, but it's not hundred percent. Okay, let's do Ghafara. Uh, okay, let's see if uh, so Ghafara. So it says forgiveness, pardon. Okay, so it is a little help, but uh, um, as I said that uh, 
um, Quran Pak is a classic. So that is not going to be much help, but uh, if you guys are really stuck on uh, word, then you can try that and that can be a little help. Okay, then uh, we have uh, one more, this is as tall and uh, this is uh, like a dictionary. Now, how you are going to use it? So you're gonna use search. And then again, you are going to use the keyboard and let's do our kafar over here. So kaf. And I, s so you need to know the root letter for that. Okay, whatever word you are finding, you need to uh, know the root letter. So kafara, and then this E is telling us uh, a different pattern of verb. So we are not there yet, so you can just ignore. And then um, it means to cover, hide. Okay, kufran is the uh, noun for that. Kafur, kafur is the one who is like, uh, like very ungrateful. So this is a kind of mubalga in, in it. Kufar billa. So, and then it is giving different forms of it. And it also say, and give you different takfir and what kind of uh, preposition is used with that. Kafir. Okay, the one, so this is our uh, um, ism. And it has many different uh, um, dictionaries in it. So this edge tall, it's not one dictionary, it has many dictionaries in it. And uh, some are even in Urdu. So let's see if we have, uh, so you will keep uh, finding, okay, so there is more over here. And then we have, that is a different one. And we found kifata over here. Someone was asking, right? Kifata mean to gather a place in which a thing is drawn together. So even it is giving the example, alam najalil arda kifata. So that could be very interesting for our beginning level, we can spend a, hours on it and learn some new vocabulary. So this one is Urdu now over here. Okay, so it says Kafaraz Zari O. So Kisan ne beach mati me chupadia. So Kafara mean literally to hide something because Kafir, they kind of hide their Iman because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created everyone on nature. Uh, on uh, Islam, right? He took uh, oath from us. So, but then we forget about it and we hide our uh, Iman. So this is what Kufar means. So um, inshallah, you guys can uh, explore that. And uh, that would be helpful. Even though we are not there yet, when we will start our uh, words, then you need uh, this dictionary more than now. But uh, still I thought, okay, why not? I just introduce something new to you guys. Okay, so inshallah, we are going to end our uh, session over here. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbil aizati amma yasifuna. Wassalamun ala al-mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.